four, four amazing runners. It's RBD Jellyfish, Fire Thief, Crosso, and Fritz. They're going to be running Little Big Planet 2 Co op. Take it away. Hello. Um, yeah, so this is Little Big Planet 2. I'm RBD Jellyfish. Uh, I'm Fire Thief. I'm Crosso. And I'm Fritz. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with this game, it's it's just a 2.5D platformer. Um, you The entire moveset is basically running, jumping, grabbing, and switching layers. There are three layers you can stand in. Um, but there are four of us, and there's quite a lot we can do when we're like working together. And oh, yeah, which... I need to let you know, we had a donation come in PlayStation 3, NG+, any percent. В общем-то, ран довольно-таки простой. Но если вы не любите платформеры, вам будет очень сложно. В общем-то, победили костюмы из Final Fantasy VII. Так что у нас тут будут бегать Клауд, Тифа, Эрис и Сифирот. В общем-то, цель это пройти основную кампанию максимально быстро. Pretty much just a platformer. This level's like super basic. Kind of just one layer we run to the right. Начало все будет довольно просто. Легенький платформинг такой. So for example, one thing you might see us do is we'll kind of like grab the person in front of us and jump, sort of like what Fire just did there. Um, and if we do it just right, we call it leapfrogging. It's a way of like swinging yourself in front of the other person and like getting a little bit of speed from that and it's slightly faster than walking normally um, and then you can also see we're like kind of bunny hopping to, to like preserve our speed um, and that's because like the less time you spend on the ground the less friction you have and therefore like you maintain your momentum a lot better now may I put this thing like an al alternative version of that with just just holding on instead of bunny hopping and we call that cool frogs for some reason. <laughs> cool. I think, yeah, we found leapfrogging first, and then Brit and Crosso found like a consistent way to do it, and just kind of organically got the name cool frogs. Was a very much temporary name. <laughs> <laughs> That's never how it works, though. <laughs> we were trying to like time the differences, and we just labeled one as cool frog. And yeah, now we're stuck with it, I guess. Yeah, so this cutscene we kind of just have to sit through. A lot of the cutscenes we can actually skip. Um, it's gonna be this one. Skippable for some reason. Сейчас раннер отмечает, что, кстати, не все кассены скипают. Скип поются. Но некоторые скипаются, и это хорошо. В общем-то, сейчас нам рассказывают о том, что если вы прошли игру и собрали все стикеры, то при перепрохождении вам открываются новые пути. Вот тут, например, мы можем пропустить часть секции с обучением, потому что это НГ+. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually a big part of like 
playing this game in multiplayer is um sometimes like one person will end up being like way faster than everyone else. Um, but the game tries to keep everyone on screen at the same time. Um, and so like the best thing to do both for speed reasons. Hold on, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Я снова рассказываю об основной механике копа, о том, что игра всегда пытается держать всех игроков на экране, поэтому если кто-то вырывается вперед очень сильно, то она подгоняет отстающих игроков. Ну, чаще всего, ну как подгоняет? Она просто их убивает за экраном, вот буквально стирает за экраном. И человек, который бежит вперед, телепортирует всех на следующий чекпоинт, пробегая мимо него. That's not the moment we try to do there. We still made it over. It's fine. Yeah, if we're really fast, we can like B hop across that pit, like up to here. Вот если бы раннеры были достаточно быстрыми, то они смогли бы просто про B хопить мимо вот этой вот ямы. Вот раннер за экраном самоуничтожается, чтобы не пытаться догнать их. Из-за того, что тактика была такой, что один раннер прыгает в тележку, другой их толкает и подрывается вот специальной командой такой. Это все сделано, чтобы не ждать ничего и сразу по своему циклу идти оптимальному. So the level link, you need every a live player to be standing in front of it to move on to the next level. And so a lot of times we'll just like three people will die and one person like kind of run ahead and get in the level link and stuff. Yeah, I suppose it became pretty clear there that you like uh, automatically pop if you're off screen for too long. So like with that, we can actually time when we pop here. There's a cutscene here that starts if like all players are present, but like just by staying behind, we can skip that and. Yeah, so we have a <laughs> we have a grappling hook now, by the way. Um, oh yeah, true. Lets you swing off of stuff. You can build up some pretty nice speed. The problem with that in four players is that it's quite easy <laughs> to accidentally grab each other, um, and you know. Sometimes we'll just accidentally steal each other's momentum and stuff. So a lot of these grappling hook levels just involve <laughs> someone like kind of playing it solo. Yeah, um, like we intentionally avoid the checkpoints when we have the grappling hook if possible. Yeah, this is one of those levels where like pretty much I just play it and I'm totally gonna mess it up, but it's fine. And they kind of just wait behind and like try to die at the right time to make sure I have the camera while I'm doing all the grappling hook stuff. Вот вспоминаю я Little Big Planet, второй вот именно, второй. Не третий, не первый, а второй. Проходит только... <laughs> не, они все его проходят. Просто кто-то проходит быстрее, а кто-то медленнее. Тот, кто проходит быстрее, тянет за, всех, за собой всех остальных. Самая быстрая рука на Диком Западе, как... Водится, проходит. Вот, возвращаясь к теме, вспоминая вот именно вторую часть, она вышла в такой момент, что вот я именно поймал волну этой игры, и, блин, какая же она была позитивная и хорошая. И вот почему-то в третьей части уже такого ощущения не было. И не столько, что постарел или еще что-то, а именно потому, что как будто бы отошли от того формата, который был именно хорош, где... Просто такая простая, дружелюбная история с множеством разных уровней. Happy 
But I think Final Fantasy is like, is the lore. Yeah, I've never actually played Final Fantasy. So I just assume that just like, they're all just happy friends, all playing platforming levels together. Oh, Sephiroth's a very happy, happy character. Don't uh, you I'm ask. sure, yeah. <laughs> So that's that level. It's like, I think that's one of the most fun levels to play solo. Gets a little chaotic in multiplayer. Um, but yeah, I think that went pretty well. This level's very long. Um, <laughs> yeah, like there's that wall that like kind of pops out, but like. Oops. Yeah, like see, like that. It pops out, but yeah. if you like actually do what we're supposed to do, well, speedrunning wise, supposed to do, we can just. Yeah, so that's forward. the level. Yeah, so, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it was, it was two tries. It would have been funny if it was first try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I blame I the costumes. Away, the level was gone. Yeah. Don't blink or you'll miss it, but this one's a little longer. But it's also really easy, because the idea of this boss fight is that you need to, like, turn all these, like, red lights into green lights by, like, holding these levers and, like, pressing this button that's gonna come up now. Like, we can just camp them. We can just hang out on top of them and... <laughs> and I can dance. <laughs> yeah. After <the> everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's something for three players to do here, and Crosser's not one of those players, so... Now, only three players are needed for the progression of this part of the game. Recurring theme in the boss fights, I think. It's the bone. So those are the. That's the first world. Of six, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Never counted them. Well, I could have mentioned that, like, we can just return to pod instead of waiting for the, the actual scoreboard to, like, finish. It counts as finishing the level as long as it takes. The yeah. level completed or whatever it says. So, I think. Yeah, that's for the boss. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, Grabinators. Um, I guess Trick Grab? Yeah. So, the Grabinators let you pick up and throw things. This is a new gadget. Um, we can pick up and throw each other. So, as you might imagine, we can just, like, skip past quite a few obstacles in some of these levels wherever Grabinators uh, pop up. Like here, uh, I really want RBD to not get the Grabinators, so we can do a really weird glitch where we can force him to like go behind the level. Yeah, that's close. That's yeah. Close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the way that works is, um, if someone's being held and they grab something in a different layer, that will pull them into that layer. But that'll also pull the person who's holding them into that layer, which will trick the game into thinking that it needs to push the person they're holding back an extra layer. Um, where am I going? Okay, there we go. So here um, we just want a tower, <laughs> by the way. Just make a big tower and run to the one person into the last checkpoint here. Oh, I, that was me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was me. Let's, let's do this, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we could. Oh, okay, we could. Never mind. We Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's really <laughs> <hard. laughs> There's us, like, oh, time freeze. Stack, you can do that Shot. there with, like, people. Uh, cross it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> big you can't tower Call it towering, just because we build a tower. No bigger meaning to it, but we could have, like, thrown a person, one of the players, to that checkpoint. Yeah, we we're gonna hit. It up. We're gonna tower a bunch more in this level, probably. We just, like, make a chain of four of us all holding on to each other and we can like chain together the throws as well to get some like nice speed and height oh, oh we're wobbling uh oh that's that's not great that's throw, not gonna make throw. it i'll throw yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh i got stuck up here oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that works <laughs> okay we will have to deviate from the oh. plan i guess this is fine actually <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it works <laughs> it kind of yeah. ended up in the correct situation but i don't know how it got there <laughs> That is not the moment we want to have. <laughs> but 
but yeah, it's because CJ there's no rage at this level, we can throw a lot. В общем-то, классическая механика Little Big Planet, где вы бросаете объекты в специальные точки у врага, чтобы его взорвать. И вот сейчас вот была клевая механика большой башни, где один игрок берет другого, другой другого, и все они друг друга последовательно кидают. И за счет этого вот так вот далеко можно улететь. Это прям забавная такая механика. Ой. Раннер не смог запрыгнуть на ложке. Во. Ой. Вот это вот мега запускательная башня очень забавная. Такие выстраиваются в рядочек. И пиу, запущен, пиу, запущен. Yeah, this is like kind of just an auto scroller type thing. So if you want to read a donation real quick, now would probably be a good time. Thank you very much. Yes, we've had an eleven dollar donation from Anonymous. He says, "I saw the Shin Megami Tensei donation incentive and couldn't resist donating towards it. Let their names ring out in the run, and they have donated to name the characters." Scrungus, Chungus, Fungus, <laughs> and Among Us. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> wow. I like those names. Under your gadget, once again. Ah, SMT1 будет glitchless на законопослушный ending. Wow. Правда, в 6 утра? Ну ладно. Было бы здорово, если бы он пораньше, точнее попозже начинался. Ну ладно, прям. Fire and I are gonna try to do a skip here on the left. Nice. nice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I pretty much stand on my cake, jump off it. She shoots into me, and then I have to jump off of the cake that she shot. And it can be kind of hard to time, but it saves actually a decent amount of time. I'm gonna die here so I don't kill the camera. So you can technically go through this wheel thingy without pausing it. We are shooting a cake into its cards, but it's a little bit safer and faster, I think, if you do stop it. And here we only want to have one person, because there is actually a cutscene here, but we're just gonna, like, jump through it and activate the scoreboard before it can, like, I lost all my speed. Oh, we're good. Ой. Сейчас Ранар чуть-чуть мог ошибиться и не долететь. Он потерял всю скорость, но все хорошо оказалось в итоге. Вот здесь комментаторы... А, нет, это все раннеры. Все, все три раннера сидят и комментируют. Этот уровень очень сильно зависит от циклов. Вот вы видите, электричество повсюду ходит, и если вы... Не поймаете хороший цикл, то будет грустно из-за того, что вам придется ждать. And then we can also do another one of those co-op jump things that we use to skip that one level. We do it correctly. Nice. Nice. We failed that like literally ten times in a row in practice. Yep. Сейчас раннеры говорят, что они зафейлили этот прыжок 10 раз подряд на практике. Reach that top floor of those three floors. 
So once we do that like co-op jump to get up there, we can actually just take our time and easily catch up to this cycle as long as we don't like actually fail. Even though we didn't catch that one, it's still fine because we can just. Yeah, there's there's like so much time to make this cycle. Yep, that's the first electricity that reaches this point. В общем-то, платформинг довольно-таки стабильный у раннеров идет. Which is another boss level, which is made like a million times easier to control. Yep. Well, it's still kind of there is some solo strats. I guess it's not too fast, too much faster, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, the I think the intended way to do this is to like kind of run back and forth with these takes and like deal damage. Интересный момент. Раннер сейчас говорит: "Я думаю, что". Путь, который продумывали разработчики, это бежать немного в другую сторону. О, три удара подряд. Это прям отлично. Yeah, it's a bit more comfortable <laughs> to use <laughs> one of these dancing people as a projectile. I almost missed that throw because I was distracted. <laughs> 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 but this part actually does have a skip though. Oh yeah, this part's kind of hard. We probably are not gonna get it. We aren't having too much luck with it. Yep, nope. Ah, uh, it's alive. Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, back from the elevator. I'll go first. Okay. Oh, on the left. I will go in the elevator. Well, we can still do a micro optimization by stacking up here. Apparently, this activates the scoreboard a little bit faster. Yeah, so if we're standing in that elevator, it actually moves up during this cutscene and reaches the scoreboard before the cutscene ends. So we kind of just spawn up here in the middle of the cutscene and finish the level. Two out of six. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting more confident in that <laughs> six number. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. This entire uh, world has like skip in skips in like every level except the last one, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. They're very big, so. Good luck. Not, not judging. I usually do the grappling hook section here, and I always judge Crossa super hard whenever he plays <laughs> that. So no pressure. <laughs> Alright, acceptable. Оп, отлично, отлично получилось. Небольшой скип. Зацепиться, бустануться, пролететь. Yeah, so this this level has like a pretty big skip, like we mentioned before. Um, so there's kind of a way, like I think the level we pretty much go up this elevator, we go way up to the top of the level, and then most of the level involves like working your way down, um, in like sort of a zigzag. Um, but we can kind of find we found a way to like basically drop behind the level in the back layer using multiple people. Um, and we can just like sort of skip straight to the scoreboard if we do it correctly. Now сейчас вот будет стап на скип. I grab Crosso, I fall behind the checkpoint, I throw Crosso. сейчас выкинули. Двух жертв за уровень. За границей экрана. И они, пролетев... Прямо за границей экрана 
упали ниже и пропустили буквально весь сегмент. Ну, всю секцию с прыжками, которая должна была быть. Практически вот весь уровень. Все, что мы делаем, это потому, что так быстрее. Правильная фраза про спидраны. Все, что мы делаем, это потому, что так быстрее. Ну, сейчас рано рассказывают о том, что они нашли способ э, задевать триггеры через пол. И все. Вот так вот раннеры спанец перерождаются прямо на чекпоинте выше, который только что они триггернули. Я 
do that. This looks like a disaster, but it's really just because we're all trying different risky things. И сейчас раннеры исчезают, и это кажется катастрофой, но на самом деле это не так. Просто каждый из них пытается делать рискованные техники. Сейчас читают донаты и снова закидывают на Чангус Фангус. Блин, сложное имя персонажа такое. Погодите, я даже теперь хочу посмотреть. Они закидывают донаты на имя персонажа в... В -в 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 Шин Мигами Тенсей первой части, которая будет в 6 утра. И там ник у персонажа, если победит такой, прям огненный должен быть сейчас. Сейчас я вам скажу, какой там клевый ник должен быть. Тут просто величайшие ники. Сейчас все закидывают на просто шикарнейший ник. Скаргнус, Чхангус, Фангус и Амонгус. Скрангус, Чангус, Фангус, Амонгус. Нормальные имена персонажей будут в СМТ-1, если это победит. Сейчас 
cycling ourselves to the right, basically to the end of the level. Yeah, just pausing there to let the camera catch up to me so it doesn't. Uh, right. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you he had fell down to the right, right <laughs> you'd have to have restarted the whole level. I never would have heard the end of it. <laughs> yep. Uh, so this level has something called G-loading. Um, for some reason in certain sections of the game, if you despawn a stack person as they're spawning out of a checkpoint, it can remove the collision around the checkpoint. Um, this level is pretty much just an auto-scroller where we're riding the camel um, very slowly, but we can use the deload to like basically escape the auto-scroller and um, yeah, you'll see that coming up. That is a fantastic looking camel, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> it is very cool. And it's actually an Easter egg that we activated. You can look up yourself if you want to know how to do it. I'm not telling. Oh, you mean. It's the Konami code. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have time for a quick donation during this auto scroller? Sure. Fantastic, because we've had $10 come in from the Insomnia Discord server. He says, we are witnessing truly godlike gameplay here. You love <laughs> to see it. Also, hi, Fire. We're all watching you in the server. <laughs> all right, so the deload is coming up. Um, we're three of us are basically going to pop while Brit stays in the camel. Um, so we can spawn at this checkpoint. I popped a little early, so I'm going to spawn back. And then I'm basically going to pause the game as Crosso is spawning in. He's going to turn his controller off. We're going to wait out 10 seconds for the PS3 to think, like, oh, there's no more player there. Let's despawn his character. Um, Сейчас проворачивается трюк с тем, что один из игроков отключает контроллер. PS3 такая говорит, о, тут нет игроков, и диспаунит его. Сейчас смысл в том, что они должны ехать на этом верблюде. Да, это верблюд. И вот эта вот поездка на этом верблюде довольно-таки долгая, но из-за того, что они сделали вот этот небольшой глич, они едут намного быстрее, ну как, бегут намного быстрее и просто раньше времени заканчивают этот сегмент. Oh, that looks oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Players. Nope. Oops. Ooh, oh, oh that was man. Close. Those are both really close, but yeah, yeah unfortunate. That's like as close as you can get, pretty much. Yeah, like as close as you can get without actually getting it. So, yeah, basically, we just try to fling a player across that massive gap. There's, there's just. It's a door that opens once the camel reaches it, and for some reason it doesn't have any collision. So with a very precise jump, we can just get past it and go, ah, that's the wrong layer. There we go. Yeah, so now uh, Checkpoint. Now Sorry. the backup is we have to fight this mini boss, um, which sadly is like two or three minutes slower. It's just so so that since we had to run through this level backwards, um, we ended up like all these Полностью идеально. Им придется сражаться с этим мини-боссом, а это на целых три минуты дольше. Да, 
<laughs> and yeah, and we're just gonna kind of like merge with the boss, I guess. And <laughs> Camel is really not doing well. Yeah, I don't think this Camel is. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Like killed us. That's never happened before. That's never happened. Like, This is the classic phrase. На марафонах этого никогда не случалось раньше. Этот верблюд был уничтожен. Но не в этот раз. В этот раз this never happened before. And so we have to like hold to retry to spawn the new camel anyway. So I guess that was fine. I'm the biggest bird. Alright. Yeah, that's that's that level. Just turn off your controller. Okay. Good call, good call. Gonna do this. So there's a way to when people turn their controller off, there's a way to like instantly despawn them. Um, we didn't do it in the last level for reasons that I'm too tired to explain because it's like 7:30 in the morning. <laughs> But <laughs> um, we're gonna do another deload here. Just gonna pause there. Fire's gonna turn off her controller. I'm gonna do this like instant despawn thing. Um, pretty much I just like open a certain menu. Um, and it just makes them respawn. I, I don't really know why it works, but it does. So yeah, we left a deed there for a reason. We're gonna see in a while. Yeah, so we didn't actually do a deload there to remove collision. We just did it to spawn a B vehicle a little later. An empty B vehicle, because if you actually get into it and then pop or despawn, it just pops the B as well. Yeah, and up here we're gonna do an actual deload for collision purposes. I'm gonna pause there, do this, it's gonna reload everybody, hopefully. That should work. Oh, pop. Uh, okay. Yeah, it worked. Oh, I stole your B. Oh. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know this was a thing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, now we want to fall behind the level a little bit, and for some reason, Sackbots don't uh, switch layers automatically, so we use that to our advantage to like pretty fall down behind the level into the bee that we spawned that was empty. And yeah, so now we're out of bones. So the first section of the level that we were in got unloaded, so now there are no walls there. So when we got out of bounds, Frick gets into this bee um, that we had spawned. And so now he's just like, he can leave because those walls aren't there anymore. The eyes don't want to reward their cruelty, I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I don't like their eyes much. Now we want to get back inbounds, but thankfully that's really easy. We can just activate this checkpoint. And I actually got in without having to pop myself, so that's kind of fast. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I thought I wouldn't get a B for some reason. <laughs> no B for you. Ah, oh, they're so heavy. Help. Uh -oh. Help. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Yeah, they, they try to like emulate the fact that one oh of them got stuck. One that's nice. That is too <laughs> bad for that guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Look at all his friends escaping. <laughs> Runners все шутят о том, что они периодически кого-то из своих бросают. So now we get an auto scroller at Vader. So this game, this used to actually be like kind of a boring speed game because it has four like really long auto scrollers. Um, but 
since we started running this together, we've found like skips for three out of four of them. И сейчас рано говорят о том, что они нашли скип для трех из четырех автоскроллеров, которые будут вот э, в этой секции. We have no donations in the queue at the moment, but I'm sure they will be coming soon. However, do let me tell you all very quickly about our charity t-shirt that is available. It can be purchased online during the event at speedrun.store. It's got all your favorite runners from the event plastered over the front of it. Unique design is only available during the duration of this event, as I say. It's $22 per t-shirt. О том, что в сторе у них продаются футболки, которые пойдут на... Ну как, доходы с которых пойдут также в благотворительность. В общем-то, даже мерч организовали в этот раз серьезный, что благотворительность также переправят. Это, кстати, хорошая идея, мне кажется, потому что почему нет? Люди любят мерч. Единственное, там получается комиссия с производства мерча еще уходит, так что лучше, конечно, напрямую донейшены, но мерч есть мерч. We I'm actually just messes. lost time in an auto scrolling because of that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get through this section. I don't want to get that sticker in there. Neater. They just say as someone who played Little Big Planet One to like the ends of the earth but never played this, I'm so glad they brought back the controller in the pod. That mm -hmm. was one of my favorite things to play with. Classic. В общем-то, сейчас даже раннеры говорят, что не особо много, что можно рассказать о этом уровне. Um, because if you're a fan of the game, so I'm I'm from the U.S. Tires from Finland, uh, Cross is from Sweden, Crit is also from a different part of Finland. So how could we have all practiced together? Um, like we played online, of course. But if you're a fan of the series, you might have remembered that like the servers got shut down a couple years ago. Um, well, there's a, a, a dedicated group of fans who basically like rewrote the servers, like from scratch and and basically made custom servers available if um with a little bit of hackery um and so yeah we we basically you know been able to keep playing this game online just because of how passionate the fan base for LDP is вот сейчас говорят о том что ран состоялся только благодаря тому что у игры хорошие фанаты потому что сервер это Sony отключили но фанаты с этим не согласились. И в итоге они подняли серверы. Ну, естественно, с помощью манипуляций, которые не совсем разрешены Sony. Но благодаря этому у игры все еще есть серверы, и раннеры смогли практиковаться онлайн. Потому что они все из разных частей. Один из них даже из Америки прибыл, чтобы показать этот ран. И сейчас говорят о том, что вот эта вот секция в основном это мэш, мэш батн. Sorry, I'm mashing. 
Johnny <laughs> and uh, Fire are like backups because if we shoot, we could accidentally shoot either Rabbit or Fire or sorry Fritz. Okay. And that would like get Fire. really annoying because so he would flip around and they wouldn't shoot straight. Yeah. Yeah. So with with two people <laughs> shooting, we have twice as many bullets, and so we can kill that boss pretty quickly as long as we, you know, do that correctly. It's world 4. Yeah. So at the beginning of world 5, um, there is another auto-scroller that we can skip. It does involve doing some difficult movement. Er, it's not so difficult, but it is like kind of precise. It involves doing it completely blind. Um, and so I do need to like, I do need silence to listen to like the audio cues and stuff while I do this. Сейчас Раннер говорит о том, что на уровне 5 будет еще один скип, который возможен, но ему нужно, чтобы было тихо, потому что нет никаких визуальных маркеров о том, что происходит. Поэтому единственное, что доступно, это ориентирование на звук, из-за чего он просит немного тишины. Oh well. Well, now I fuck. I don't know how long to count. Well, actually, there is a slight visual cue. If uh, I mean, uh, this is sketchy. I'm gonna stop like now, yeah. just to be safe. So there's a chance oh. that he could have blocked. The scoreboard from spawning. Oh, that's actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah. 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 That <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so like the reason that saves time, I mean, I don't want to go in too much into detail of it, but like we're not actually climbing a tree there. It's more like pieces of the tree are spawning and moving down the screen. Um, but if you block those from spawning, it actually speeds up um, the thing that determines which pieces should be spawning. Um, but if you block them for too long, you also block the scoreboard from spawning. And so that's why counting there is really important, because if I waited up there for too long, then I could have like just soft locked us and we had to we would have had to restart the level completely. Um, so I, I like messed that up at the beginning. The fact that we still like pulled it together, that was like about as well as I could have gone, I think, having messed up at the start at least. Yeah, doing a backup there is like crazy and just uh, it's probably one of the most difficult things to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, this level we also use one of the sticker sensors thing things to like change how we play this game. Not only you get like a grappling hook there and stuff like that, but instead we have creatinators that shoot these bounce pads. And, like we can just use them to be a little bit faster, take an alternative route, and do a little skip here by... Uh, ...doing <laughs> that. Sorry. So, what they're trying to do is shoot a bounce pad at Fritz's feet that launches him up and into the level link. <laughs> a couple of tries, but I think it might have still been faster than... Так что ран идет идеально, без каких-либо уменьшений и прочего. Вполне возможно, даже на ВР хватит. Ну хотя, хотя. Никого like ПНГ плюс 4 игрока. Ну и там час 23. 
you can be a little bit faster with it if you like like save like a tiny bit of time by like getting on top of it and jumping up from there once it like reaches the top but not much сложный сложный момент that's rare yeah like we can just jump up now instead of waiting for the elevator to actually reach up where uh, help <laughs> <laughs> okay Here, if you're really fast, you can get between the little mini sackbots and just be a bit faster than you're supposed to be. That's like one of the examples where only one person does a hard strat. Mm -hmm. Didn't all do it and fail in this time. Ooh, that's pretty good. So uh, at that section there, I'm actually trying to like or all of us are trying to do it. We're trying to jump like as we pass in front of the bounce pads. Um, and we can actually get a little hop to cancel like some of our uh, vertical momentum. And so we can get up faster. Oh, so that's. Not a creative level, but. Oh, there he goes. Pop, pop, pop. You can pause, pause. Yeah, pause. Nice. Uh, or. Careful of the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> okay. Where is it? There there it is. Is. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so we get these water cannons um, that shoot water. You can actually jump off the water pellets. So if you angle your shots just right and time the jumps just right, you can actually fly using these power-ups. Um, as you might imagine, that lets us skip some stuff. Rosso and Fred are both really good at it. I feel like I, I am not good at it. I can do it uh, from my run. I can do it from my run, sorry, but I'm terrible at like my standing still position. Yeah. <laughs> this was found pretty recently, or well, at least implemented into the run pretty recently, so we don't have too many like very specific strats for it. So a lot of this is and this next level just end up looking like we're just Although trying to fly wherever we want. Frosso has an IL where he literally flies over the entire level and just lands on the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, nope. got it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Be safe? Yeah, so let's skip some stuff. <laughs> do what you feel like <laughs> if you want to go safe or... I would say go it. safe, go safe. If you wanna be risky, you can skip a short cutscene here, but for marathon reasons, let's not. For marathon reasons. В общем-то сейчас они говорят, что есть одна стратка, которую можно использовать, но по причинам того, что это марафон, давайте не будем. Сейф стратки, сейф стратки. Realistic for a full game run, like at all. So instead, we just try to fly over as much as the cutscenes and things as we can. Oops! Forgot where those enemies spawn. level is kind of scary sometimes yeah the, the hitboxes on the enemies are actually like much smaller than you would think and so they can be kind of hard to hit with the water and also with there being four of us you don't have like a camera for yourself so you can't like really see what's going on at times actually they have four people to shoot the fire it can be kind of difficult in solo to like, like extinguish the fire quick enough mm -hmm. right, 
Потрясающая кооперация, конечно. Один раннер проскочил, кстати. Неплохо, неплохо. Крайне интересный босс-файт сейчас будет. Они просто так налепили стикер на арену. Оп, и все. Босс файт как не бывал. Поздравляю. Игра закрашилась. Your donations really do go a very long way to helping us find a cure for Alzheimer's. If you didn't know, yearly, Alzheimer Fund and Science Council and Board of Directors grant scientists, researchers, and projects around three million dollars. With your help, though, even more projects can be funded, and that is a startup sound I have not heard in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> as beautiful as it is. Don't forget, we have some amazing prizes available during this event. Uh, you can win yourself for a $250 minimum donation, a custom PS5. Unfortunately, you can't play, well, you, I suppose you could play some of these amazing games on, uh, on certain PlayStation services, but you can definitely play even more amazing modern games. Now, these minimum donations, by the way, don't have to be in a single one. You can do them in multiple ones. 
So you could do a single $250 donation, maybe two $125 donations or four $75 donations, however you want to do it. Meet that minimum, you'll be eligible to win that prize. We also have a Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch for a minimum of 250 and a DualSense Edge PS5 controller for a minimum donation of 100 You can find details on all the prizes available throughout this event on prizes.esamarathon.com. How are we doing on the reload? Almost there. Sure, you I am there. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. Still on good. Uh, by the way, yeah. for uh, timing the actual speedrun, we do not count crashes. Like, we cut them out. Normally, we pause the timer, but... Yeah, it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> it's really difficult, actually, to uh, do a full run of this game without crashing. <laughs> Online, at least. Yeah. Um, or in multiplayer, rather. Stop breaking the game. Yes, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Oh yeah, save manually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Normally you're not allowed to pause as soon as the you spawn into the level, but if you like briefly open the uh, menu, the yes, uh, what is it called? F and B menu. F and B. Yeah. 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 If you open that briefly, you can pause as soon as you can, and we can do the deload thingy, where we get the collision off of things. <laughs> Yeah, why how it like why it works, I think it's like when you open the like try to connect online, but like can't do it, it like preloads us in. So like instead of like despawning us like we normally would have, we instead like uh get stuck behind something apparently. <laughs> it's surprisingly hard to play and explain something at the same time, isn't it? Сейчас э, прекрасный диалог о том, насколько сложно одновременно играть и что-то объяснять. I like your marathon runs, Crossbow. Thank you. That warms my heart. <laughs> yeah, let's try to swing this thing. Oh, yeah. This level has low gravity, in case you haven't noticed. We're gonna, we found another thing, like, 24 hours ago. <gasps> Don't hit the lever. Oh, uh, that's me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I li I didn't, I've, like, never last in that chamber. Well, we could have skipped pulling that lever and that cutscene and stuff um, if I was paying any attention. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't get crossed. <laughs> we didn't activate the last checkpoint, by the way, so. Oh, actually? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you make it? Nah. Gravity looks really funky, but it's really not too much different from like normal platforming in this game. You're just a lot more floatier than you already normally are. Look how one of the complaints about like LBT's platforming is that it's too floaty, and in the second game they're just like, but what if we made it even floatier in this level? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, was trying to do a jump to the extra height with the crossbow grip there. Oh, I almost got crushed by the Linky there. We don't actually need all four of us here, so I'm gonna get I think you here. and Chris yeah. die, yeah, and I'll just be back up. Yeah. But once again, we want the person in the front to have as much camera as possible, so they can actually see what cycle we're on. I have no idea where that cycle starts. This oh. is one of those levels that we like feel like should definitely have a skip and we just haven't found anything substantial. Yeah. If anyone wants to experiment, uh, feel free to. 
There are ways to get out of bounds, but it's sadly you can't like get into the levels somewhere if you want to. This level has a lot of co-op craziness in it. Um, but it looks really cool as well. Not really any big skips, just like sort of a lot of stuff chained together that we try to do. Side of the pub, sorry. First we're gonna try to do oh er, well like plus yeah. A ghost fling? Yeah, yep. ghost fling to get over a trigger there which starts like sort of a chase sequence. We're just gonna skip that entirely. Gonna throw Crosso, he's gonna bunny hop through there, we're gonna die, he's gonna spawn us up here. Сейчас прекрасный скип получился. Он один из раннеров с помощью бихопа сократил путь. Другие раннеры испарились с помощью огня и появились на точке возрождения. I'm not used to the one being thrown there. Yeah, that's fair. Blood type. Oh. Do you have those spikes can kill you? We got lucky. Mm -hmm. What? Like, for whatever reason, the spikes on that enemy do not, like, lose collisions last despawn, like, I think they're supposed to. Yeah, when you kill that enemy, they kind of just fly off and usually kill you. People are popping because there's a level link coming up and the animation for them is like depends on how many players you have. Right, in the next part, I'm gonna be honest, we just like don't have a route. <laughs> yeah, it's a spray and pray strategy. <laughs> I cannot speak. Yeah, we get story. we get this rabbit vehicle, which is just like really hard to control, and we kind of just do our best. All right, that's not my bad. Sometimes we bounce off each other, and we just get like these massive speed boosts. Um, Also, you can hold, uh, like, pressing R1 does a slam attack, like that, like Princess did. And, like, you can hold X and R1 at the same time and, like, chain jumps and slam attacks to, like, get a lot of speed if you're good at it, or lucky, or both. Probably both. <laughs> Also the rabbits. Uh, <laughs> where <laughs> am I? <laughs> get stuck on each other because you can jump off of each other, you can jump off of walls, you can... Uh, I'm alive. Oh my god. Yeah, that was... something. That yes. was... I <laughs> <laughs> uh, that happened. That was how we play that level. Yeah, could have been way worse. This is one of the levels we want to go left instead of right. Wow. And also one of the levels where we kind of let RBD do his thing. Because once again, the grappling hooks tend to like catch on to other players and you don't want that. In this level, we have these little white sackbots with us with these beam attacks. And like, they are the only things that can kill these minis or whatever they're called. Like, we cannot kill that thing that's on the ground. We gotta wait for the sackbots to do it. And the sackbots AI is not the best, to be honest. So, a lot of the this level is just like, I'm going left, by the way. It's like, Managing the sackbots. Like here, we have to like track them with us. 
Сейчас раннеры говорят о том, что вот эти вот боты, которые за нами следуют, они не очень хороши с точки зрения И, из-за чего могут происходить не очень удачные случаи. Follow the person like furthest behind, and then it ends up like stop blocking here. We, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but all we need is one guy to kill this enemy. It's a little slow, but it works. If there's like a bunch of them, they'll zap it in like no time at all. But even one is enough. <laughs> We gotta climb this robot. Эх, забираемся на гигантского робота. Вопрос, получится ли скипнуть цикл? О, отлично. Все так же происходит скип, в котором они ждут визуальную подсказку. Once again, crit's gonna pop. 
We actually need two people out of bounds here. We're going to zoom ahead. We're actually underneath like the auto scrolling section now. Um, so we can just like fly ahead. There's actually a little zone up ahead where Trit will lose his B, which we kind of need to happen up. to activate the scoreboard. Yeah. So I'm going to fly up here. I'm going to pop. Trit's going to get into my B. That's going to allow him to activate the scoreboard. Then he can just fly to the scoreboard, which is right here. That saves, that saves like quite a bit of time. That's also like a relatively way, new way of doing that because we have only ever done that online. Here, you can go. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch so we yeah, can play first. Yep. Did I get the names right? Yep. This is the last boss, actually. It's a fairly basic thing. Pop all the little brain <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and yeah. go to the next section and pop all the brain bubbles again. Yeah, that first oh. section you're supposed to like go back and forth and like roll underneath the boss and stuff. But when there's, you know, two or more people, you can just like camp on each half of the boss and just get the bubbles as they spawn. So this section... Да, графика должна быть такой темной. Yeah, I don't know. This section is more or less intended. We can kind of get to the bubble early if we uh, use the grappling hook just right. The bubble is the boss's hand. Yeah. Um, usually you have to wait for that rocket to come by and like make the boss close its mouth uh, but we can get it a little bit early if we just get up on top of the boss quickly so I'm gonna wait up here for the rocket then I can just jump and get the bubble instantly yeah so oh. <laughs> like the first bubble is like always present but the uh, second and third is there a fourth one also I don't yeah. remember yeah. yeah there are four yeah those ones will like only spawn once the little rocket like shoots this guy in the mouth. I guess like, he'll spawn now. He's oh, uh, was like nowhere. I'm just burning through our lives. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's like a recurring theme. Whenever we get to this point, it's like we're running out of lives. Oh, I'm. Right, I'm play not safe, play safe, play safe. Sorry, that's not great. I'm yeah, we're, we're out of lives. I think that's the last one. Then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine that I died there. So we can go to the next section. So this section also has a little bit of a time save. So you have to we usually have to wait for the boss who do a, the sequence of attacks and then come down and then we can hit the bubbles on top of it. We can use some bounce oh sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well that was almost a disaster. We use these bounce pads to launch two players up and get two free hits immediately instead of having to wait through um Instead of having to wait through the, all those cycles. Yeah, this speeds up the boss like tremendously. Like Yeah, it each it each phase gets faster. Yeah. So getting those two hits actually makes this part faster too. Yeah, and the solo intended way would would it have like this section like four times or something, I think. Maybe yeah, three. Yeah. So now with two bubbles left I can actually throw fire across and she can hit both bubbles. And that's just a, a four fa a four cycle boss fight in one cycle saves a lot of time doing that. And then time's coming up, so that's the final hit on the boss. Once we spawn on the scoreboard, that oh, okay. that was a little early. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but unless there's a runaway from verification, is that world record? No, because oh. probably not. Um, because we, so there are a lot of different ways to run the game. Some people have like slim PS3s. Some have like fat ones. Some have SSDs. Some have Option the digital version. Some have the digital version. So yeah. loadouts are like crazy different. Um, so we time with, uh, without loads, on leaderboards, 
Locally, I think it's like three minutes at least saved. То есть они поставили VR, но на лидерборд он еще не загрузился, так что unlock. Ладно, можно сказать мини VR. We missed stuff, <laughs> but we did like everything else perfectly. Also. Yeah, it was, like, it was so like good. That. I guess that, yeah, that was, that was so good. That we was really, really good. gotta time this one then, huh? <laughs> Oops. I'm, d I'm sure you can update <laughs> us afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that probably. was absolutely phenomenal. Please, please do your hard final remarks for shy types. Yeah, um, I mean, I uh, you want to shout out some people, I guess. Yeah, um, I, guess I wanna thank everyone in the speedrunning community for, uh, you know, supporting us. Everyone here watching. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Also follow us on LDT Speedrun Twitter. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, we yeah. have the Discord channel. It's like you can find that from the uh, speedrun.com page, I believe. And there are also так, guides в общем-то, like комментирование Little Big Planet закончилось. Oh, К сожалению, yeah. не получилось очень хорошо yeah. что-либо yeah. прокомментировать, yeah. потому yeah. что yeah. раунд yeah. довольно-таки прямолинейный. Дальше вас ждет uh, Good Job. В общем-то, надеюсь, на эту игру подойдет комментатор. А я вас оставляю. Давайте. Всего доброго. А, точно. Чат, мы сейчас uh, уйдем на техническую перезагрузку. Важный момент. Так что не обращайте внимания, что стрим упадет, он поднимется сразу через минуту. Спасибо,